Hi everyone. Now we will make form and some input fields in Laravel and we'll also see how we can submit form in Laravel. So first we will make a view and we will make a route for this view also. After that on this view we will make a form and some input fields. We need to make a controller also so that we can submit our form to this controller and we can get the value from the input fields. And at last we'll discuss some important interview questions related to form and input fields in Laravel. So first let's move to the uh, terminal and uh, create one view right for that we have a command php artisan make colon view and view name so let's say our view name is user form and hit enter after that you will see that we have a form user form dot blade dot php inside our resources and views here you can see that so for a moment i'm putting their h2 tag and let's add some text let's say add new user or something all right after that we need to make a, a route for this view so inside the web.php i am putting route colon colon view and there we will put their user form and inside this we will put our uh, view name also which is user form all right so now let's see is it working or not so there what we can do we can simply put there a uh, user form okay this is not working because we have to run our php artisan server so let's run it and now let's see this is working perfectly fine right so now what we can do we can define some input fields uh, to this form so let's create a form and we have a two types of form in HTML or you can say that Laravel but actually form is a core concept of HTML only right so the method can be post or get so there we will use the post method because post is more secure than the get because whenever we are using the get request it show the data in the URL or address bar but form will not show the data in the address bar so this is little bit more uh, secure you can say that right and inside this we will define some input fields uh, for example, I am making a div there and inside this div what we'll do, we'll put input placeholder and placeholder can be enter your, uh, we can say that enter username, right. And uh, we have to just define a name also name is very important otherwise it will not work properly so you can just say that username after that we can cope Achha, there we can define a class also we will just add some style with this so the class name can be uh, input form or something then let's copy and paste it three times and you will see we have some input fields there right and we can paste one more time and now inside this we can define a button and inside this button i can say that add new user or something all right so the thing is we have to add some style also there so just add a style tag and inside this what i'm going to do let me just open inspect element and define some style so for each of the input field what i can do i can define the color can be orange border one pixel border one pixel solid and then orange height we can say that 35 pixel width we can say that uh, 200 pixel then margin Maybe we can add 10 pixel or something yeah and uh, after that seems everything is fine uh, if you want then you can use add the border radius also with border radius 2 pixel we can simply paste it and we can use their input element right and you will find this is working perfectly fine so for the button you can again create one more style button everything should be similar but just we need to change one thing let me show how this is look like so what uh, one more thing that we need to change which is 
background color and that we can say that white all right so background color is not working i think we have to use like this yeah this is working right so okay and one more thing we can just use the cursor is pointer and after adding this whenever you will hover over there you will see a hand there so this is uh, much better i think right the thing is we can change uh, the name and placeholder also so let me put there enter city enter email then we can say that enter city then enter email and here we go all right but now whenever we are just clicking over it it will not work because see uh, first we have to pass there the action like where we want to land this data right so for that we have to add one a uh, uh, route and controller right so let me add one controller and controller name can be user controller so let me put there php artisan make controller user controller right and after that yeah so user controller is there we can go to the http and there so now inside this what we can do we can create a function let's say function name is add user or something and then inside this we can return for example for a moment i am returning i am just printing something there let's say add user function called all right so to just call this function we need to make a route also so uh, let me just make a route so user controller is already there if this is not there what you can do you can simply use use keyword and then you can use the namespace this is the easiest way to put the path namespace and then controller name right and that's all after that let's add one more route there route colon colon we can say that get all right and inside this get uh, first we have to pass the route with which is add user right or you can say that add user like this anything will work and after that you can you can put the semicolon at the last and we have to put the second parameter also second parameter will be uh, the uh, array and inside this you have to put the class name which is user controller colon class and its second element will be the functions function name which you want to call right so now everything is fine but if you will just uh, okay let me just brief okay so we have to just uh, run our php server again all right yeah and there if i am putting there user form this is working fine so if i just try to uh, submit this form okay one more thing we have to check its action right an action should be same as your route this should be the same right so i am putting this so now after refresh if you just try to submit it you will find there is a page expiry error and or you can say that 419 error so let me just submit it uh, first again this is showing error let me see what's going on there yeah thing is because see our form type form method is post and there we are trying to use get so we have to make it post also now it will work right and you will find there is an error i'll tell you what is the solution for this error if you will submit you will find 419 is page expired because we are not passing a csrf token so csrf token is basically used to for a security purpose in the laravel you just uh, inside the form you just need to put there at the raise csrf and that's all go back refresh and let's say i'm putting name city name is gurgaon email address is let's say anil at the rate test and if i just submit it you will find this function is getting called whatever we 
return in this function all right but the thing is how we can get the data which we passed inside the form for that what you can do you just need to get a request there and the type of this request will be this so request and you can put any variable name it could be req or request whatever you want to put there right and you can simply return dollar request to this and now you will find you are getting the okay i need to submit it again now you can see that you are getting the whole data there whole data right but see this is the lots of data but we can do if you want to get the data one by one or if you want to return if you just return it you will find you will just have the token username and city and email id there you can see that right so the thing is if you want to get the data one by one like for user name or city and then what you can do you can simply remove it simply echo there dollar request and then username and you will find you are getting the name anil and similarly you can get the city and uh, 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 email also right this is working perfectly fine but they are just coming in the same line so better is you can use some br tag to display some gap or line break perfect but now if you want to just add some text for example username is this and you can close it at the last like this after that you can say that user city is and user email is like this we can use some colons also if you want uh, colon right and let's see now you can see that all the details like this all right so there is a one more way if you want to see so for i'm just showing for one only so if you just echo if you just paste it like this and you will put input like this right and then you can pass the input name let's say name or city or something then still it will print the data okay so i think we what we need to do, do there uh we can put dot mm, okay it should be username right yeah username and now you can see that with that way we can also get the like input and then your field name like city name or uh, email whatever you want to put this will also work right so let me just put a br tag there also this is working perfectly fine so that's all for this part thank you so much if you still have any confusion any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and this is my paytm number for donation thanks guys